Hello, it's Jay again and welcome to another tutorial. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be dealing with these floats, where we alter the sun intensity based on the state we are in. So, they correspond with our finite state machine, and here, within the finite state machine's voids is where we're going to put this code for now. Now we'll worry about optimization at a later date. Let's just get something up and running first. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here just before the void start. And we're going to create a new void and this one's going to be of type awake. We'll open and close brackets. We open and close. And we'll come inside. Now, I really suggest reading up the documentation from Unity themselves regarding the void awake and the void start. But um, at a very simple lesson, this is the order in which the script is initialized. So whatever's in the void awake will be initialized first. Then the script reads the void start before it continues on just reading the void update after that. So first things first, let's come to void start. Now because I'm starting in the day phase of night, I'm sure you remember from the previous videos, I'm starting one second before dawn. So I'm actually going to cut this entire line and we'll paste it into the void awake because I want my day phase and my light to be set up before we start the finite state machine. So everything's as it should be. And then when we start up, everything's set and ready to go. But we also need to do the light. So we'll come here, still in the void awake, and we'll say get component, we'll open brackets. Now we want to get off type light, we'll close brackets, we'll open and close, dot and we want the intensity and equals so if I just come to here for the moment we'll click on the directional light so this is what we're adjusting the intensity and for future videos I'll get a basic scene set up so you can really see the difference but you can go ahead and create your own in the meantime. And for the intensity, obviously because I'm beginning in night, I want the night sun intensity. So we'll close the line off straight into the comments. So we'll say set sun intensity to night on startup. We'll we can still use this for the comments. You can set to awake or, you know, you can weird it any way you want. But we're doing the same thing anyway. We're just making sure that we're set tonight to begin with in terms of the day phase and the light intensity. Then we start the core routine. We set the hours, minutes and the counter to a second before dawn. So as soon as my game begins, we'll just flick within a second to the dawn state and you'll be able to see the sun rise and obviously then we'll iterate through. So we've got the light and we've got the intensity value here. So let's come down to the void dawn. Now, I'm going to put mine here before we have this if block where we handle if we change day phases. 
So we'll say if open brackets, we'll get the component of type light again. And bear with me, it needs to be a capital L. We'll close brackets. We'll open and close. We'll say dot intensity. And we'll say less than the dawn sun intensity. And we'll close brackets there. Into the comments. So we'll say if. In fact, I'll not say light. We'll say if sun intensity is less than the dawn. And remember, when we enter this state, we can only enter it from the night state. So that's the only way to get to dawn. So therefore, the light intensity should never be above the dawn. It should always be less than because obviously night is less than dawn. And that's the only way we can go round the finite state machine. So once we have that in place, we'll get the light component. And again, we'll open and close brackets and we'll say intensity and we need to increase it. So we're going to say plus equals and we'll just say time dot delta time times and we want the sun dim, dim time. In fact, I'm going to put these the other way around actually. So let's just paste that in and we'll cut the time dot delta time. Let's put them that way around. We'll close the line off into the comments and we'll just say then increase the intensity by the sun dim time. And I may go back and give that a different name because it's not just dimming, it's also increasing. But we'll leave it at that for now and we'll worry about renaming stuff again once we've got something up and running. So let's downsize mono develop. So we'll hit, hit play. This should go straight to night and then straight back to dawn. The intensity should come to the night intensity, which is really low down here. Zero, I think. We gave it a value of, yes, of zero. And we should see that slowly increase. So let's hit play. So as you can see, zero. We've automatically gone straight into dawn and we're increasing the intensity. So... We'll stop that there and we'll come back down. Now, remember, you'll have to experiment with this value for the sun dim, dim time for yourself to get a value that suits your project. But for now, let's say if open brackets, we'll get component and we'll get the light open and close brackets intensity is greater than the dawn so dawn sun intensity will close the bracket into the comments we'll say if let's just say if intensity is greater than dawn uh, we'll come here we'll say get component the light again open and close brackets and all we're going to do is set it to be equal to the dawn sun intensity so if it continues going up past the dawn this line will say once we go past dawn just reset back to the dawn intensity so let's close brackets there and we'll say then make yeah let's just say let's 
Then make intensity equal to dawn. So we'll save that off there and we'll come back up. So here we go. Our dawn sun intensity is 0 0.5. So we should not be able to go above that. So let's downsize mono develop. We'll wait for it to recompile. And there we go. So we're in dawn. We're counting up. Let's just crank this up to 0 0.48. And we'll watch it. And it counted up to 0 0.5 on the intensity. But it has gone no further. So we'll come back to the script. So this part is now working. Uh, let's just use this opportunity to tidy up some of these comments. So, this is not well optimized at the minute, but I want to get the script up and running and all the features working, and we have a lot more features to add. However, once we've actually more or less completed the script, then we'll come back to it and that's when we'll deal with optimization. So let's copy both these if blocks and we'll paste them into day and the dusk and also the night as well. So let's just go through and change what needs to be changed. So this one is obviously the uh, it's the day sun intensity and let's just copy that variable and we'll paste it in here and here so again we can only enter day via dawn so it's the same deal the light intensity should never ever be greater than day because the dawn intensity is 0 0.5 and the day is 1. We fixed the dawn so we can't go above 0 0.5. We can only enter day from here so therefore we only should ever need to increase. And we'll just go through and we'll change the comments. So and finally here as well we'll change them all today and that now should work fine so that's all we need to do for the day let's come to dusk again we'll tidy up the comments as we go and so for dusk and this time this is the brightest the intensity can ever get within the day so with the next two functions we should only ever need to decrease because the dusk is less than day and again that's the only way we can get there so we need to change this to greater than so if the light intensity is greater than the underscore dusk sun intensity and we'll copy that variable and we'll paste it in there and there as well and let's just go through so we need to change that to greater so if sun intensity is greater than dusk we'll come here we'll change it from a plus to a minus sign so minus equals and we can come here and say then decrease the intensity if light intensity and this time we want to make sure we cannot be less than the dusk so we'll change it from greater to less in the comments and we'll change this to dusk as well then we'll make it equal to dusk and that's them done so we just need to do the exactly the same 
Fortnite. So again, we'll change this to if the light intensity is greater than the night sun intensity. And we'll change the comment here. Let's just copy this variable and we'll paste it in twice here and here. So again, we need to subtract and we'll change the comment to decrease. And in this instance, it should never go below the night anyway because night's absolute zero but let's just put this little if block in uh, as well just as a little bit of fail safe for now we'll leave this in is less than night and then we'll set it equal to night and we'll save that off there and let's go for a little test. So again, we're hitting play from night straight to dawn. So we're increasing. We know the dawn works. So the day is starting at 8 o'clock. So let's change the intensity to the dawn. 0 0.5. And let's just change the hours to 7 minutes 59 and the count of the seconds 55 and let's see if it starts going up again which it is doing so let's just change this to 0 0.95 let's say and we'll watch it go up and it shouldn't go past one which it doesn't because we're in day now and let's have a look. Dust start time is 1800 hours. So let's change it again to 1700 hours, 59 minutes. And let's try 55 seconds again. So now we should be decreasing and we should not go, be able to go below our dusk intensity here, which is 0 0.25. So let's just uh, bring this down a bit to 0 0.27, let's say, and we'll check. So we haven't gone below, look, the dusk sun intensity, and we're in night. So night, 20 hundred, so let's change it again, 19, 59, and 55 seconds. And let's see if we start counting down again, which we are doing. Let's change this to 0 0.1. We'll lay count down. And we should not be able to get any sort of negative value, which we don't. We only get a 0. And now we need to make sure if we are going back up, which we've already sort of done. Well, let's just go through it again. 5, 59, 55. And we should change to dawn in a moment. And there we go. We're beginning to increase again. So I'll stop that there. As I said, we'll work on optimization at a much later date. Let's just tidy up these comments as well while we're here. But at least we have something working for now. We have a lot more features to add, so let's get on with adding features. And I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. And as I said, I'll get some sort of basic scene in place. So just so you can see it working a little bit better and in real time here for the coming lessons. But I certainly hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.